This is how to add a virtual green screen to your OBS. And you actually want to start by closing OBS, very important, then heading to the NVIDIA broadcast website which I've linked in the description and download it. Of course you need an NVIDIA graphics card for this which is 20 series or above. Now just run the installer and then open NVIDIA broadcast and you should have something looking like this. What we want to do is click onto the camera section and then find the correct camera and click on the drop down list and make sure if you have 60 FPS, if you have 1080p, make sure you've got that selected. If you've got 4K, select that too. Of course, I technically missed a step. Make sure you've got the correct camera selected as well. Now, here's where the magic happened. You can see my background. It's quite messy. So let's add a virtual green screen effect. So I'm going to click on add effect. I'm going to click on the drop down list and I'm going to click on background removal. You can see nothing's happened yet. That's because I have to click on this button here, which turns it on. I do recommend put it on quality. That just makes the background a bit better. And if you can see, if I move my hands around here, you can see it's pretty good. You might have used some other software removal to remove your background, which can be a lot worse than this. Okay, it's now time to add this to OBS. And it might sound strange, but I'm going to press the X button to close it. It's actually not fully closed. It's in the taskbar down there. Anyway, go ahead and open OBS. For me, I had a few issues. So I clicked on scene collection new and just made a new scene collection named stream. So firstly, let's add a little background. If you want to add your computer screen, it's display capture. A static image is obviously image. And for me, I'm adding those triangles you saw, which is a media source. I've set mine to loop and I'll just find where the files are and add it in. But now for the fun part, let's click the plus button and let's add a video capture device, which is our camera with the background removed. So you can give it a name like NVIDIA Broadcast if you want. From the drop down list, find the NVIDIA Broadcast. Here it is. Under the resolution FPS type, I'm going custom. I'm going 1080p. I am going 60 FPS. Again, you got to match this to whatever you put in NVIDIA Broadcast. This is just to make sure that it's got the best settings. And there we go. We've now successfully added in our camera with the background removal added.